this is my sign table. I've had this thing for, I don't know, probably close to a year now. And in that time, I have used it a grand total of once. I would like to get more use out of it because besides being a sign table, it's also a fixture plate. It could be really handy, especially I think on machines like the horizontal mill and, you know, of course the grinder. The only problem is I don't have any, you know, fixtures for the fixture plate. All right, so maybe you can kind of see the direction things are going here. I'm shooting for one of those low profile clamp systems. Currently I have eight blanks of two different sizes. These are actually gonna make up three different styles of clamp. However, my blanks here are of course all saw cut. So I need to finish squaring them up and getting them roughed down to their general major dimensions. Then once that's done, I can start putting in all of the different features for the three different styles of clamp. But first, if you'll give me a minute, I'd like to tell you about this video's sponsor, Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself? If not, I don't necessarily recommend it because quite frankly, it's kind of shocking. Your personal, private information is traded back and forth day in and day out by online data brokers who sell that information indiscriminately to the highest bidder. And this is just the technically legal side of things, not even considering straight up criminal activities like data and identity theft. And this is where Aura comes in. Aura is an advanced online data protection service. They offer identity protection. They monitor all three major credit bureaus, all of your financial transactions, and the best part is you can access all this with a simple, easy to use app on your smartphone. I've actually personally experienced identity theft and I am no longer leaving myself and my family vulnerable to criminals, data breaches, and online data brokers. So if you wanna protect yourself and help out the channel at the same time, go to aura.com slash Hirsch and try 14 days for free. This is plenty of time for Aura to do a full background search and find out if any of your information has been leaked online. But like I mentioned at the beginning, be prepared when you do this because you might be surprised by the results. 
Now, because all these faces here are already machined square to each other, and all that I really need to do is square up the ends here and bring the part down to its overall length, I can use these already machined surfaces as my references, putting them against my immovable jaw and my parallel. And then I can bring in a vice stop and take my length measurement from the face of that vice stop. This is gonna let me swap my parts in and out, do all of my machining based off of that one single measurement instead of having to measure every time I put in a new part. Okay, so here's everything so far, roughed into general shape and major dimensions. I am now ready to start adding features. And once again, because I have multiple parts to machine here, I'll be setting my zero in the X axis off of the face of the vise stop and setting my zero in Y on the fixed jaw of the vise.
gonna stop me, Aaron? Well, uh, let's be honest here. That was stupid. You know, I even kind of had a feeling that that might happen when I put both of these in here. I said, you know, if there is even the slightest difference between these two widths, one of them is going to get knocked loose. And lo and behold, one of them got knocked loose. Fortunately, um, I think we can still save it, so no big deal. But let's give this another shot and do what I knew that I should have done from the beginning and do this one at a time. That's better. Thank you. Okay, so here are all the main pieces of the clamp set. Hopefully it's starting to vaguely resemble a set of Mighty Bike clamps. That's what I'm roughly basing the design on anyway. At this point, most of the machining is finished. And for this next section, I kind of want to wade into some uncharted territory, at least for me anyway, and heat treat these. I actually have this really nice heat treat oven that my beautiful and amazing wife bought me for Christmas last year. However, despite in that time having done multiple projects that could have and probably should have been heat treated, I have neglected to actually use it for a project, mostly because I'm afraid I'm just going to do something stupid and screw up my part. However, let's face it, we do not learn and grow by staying inside of our comfort zones. So I think it's time. That said, because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I'm just going to be following the recipe for 01 tool steel found on the Hotshot website. I will leave a link to that recipe in the description if you're interested in the details. All right, while all those parts are baking in the oven, there's still one more thing that I need to make, and that is the cam screws. These are what will be used to apply the actual clamping pressure. I've already made a little mandrel here that I'll use to hold on to them. And to offset for the cam, I'll just be using a couple pieces of shim stock and the three jaw chuck. The heat treat went pretty well, I think. Nothing came out cracked or broken anyway. They don't seem to have deformed or distorted in any way that I can really tell. And I can't cut them with a file, so I'm gonna call that a success. So I guess there's really only one thing left to do. You know, in the video, I think you'll probably see maybe a few seconds of actual grinding, but 
in reality, this was literal torture. I completely and totally understand now why people want those hydraulic automated grinders. This took forever, but I mean, here they are, and you know, I think they look pretty decent. I did screw up on these though, these slanted ones. These are supposed to be those slanted toe clamps. So one of these would sit on top on the slanted part here. And the cam screw would of course, you know, screw in through here and into that tapped hole right there, which would cause this piece to move forward and down when the cam was activated. However, when I drilled and tapped this hole, I did so before I set the part up for the slanted surface. So this drilled and tapped hole is now at the wrong angle. So long story short, it doesn't work. I mean, I don't know, you live and you learn, right? I'm certainly not making them over at this point. To be honest with you, this project, I don't know, things were going fine until the grinding, but that grinding was brutal and I am just absolutely done. I'm sure you know how these work already, but just in case, I'll give a quick demonstration. So these here are basically just fences that you can kind of slide around and set up wherever. And then you have these little buttons here that have the cam lock screw in them. So you get everything placed and set up where you want it on your fixture plate, and then you get your fence secured down firmly. And then you can just twist this until that cam locks it into place. And once you've done that, the part's not going anywhere. It's a pretty simple design, I think, but it works fairly well and it lets you lock things down on a fixture plate and basically get access to this entire top surface. Anyway, I guess that's about it for this one. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so very much. I do truly appreciate it. If you like what I do here and you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do that is to like, comment, subscribe, maybe even share the video. If you've got a couple of extra minutes and you're feeling super generous, go ahead and click that link in the description and show this video's sponsor some love. Every person who signs up for that free trial is incredibly helpful to the channel. So if you want to go that extra mile, it's very much appreciated. As usual, the plans for this project will be available on my Patreon. So if you want to make a set of these for yourself, you can find that link in the description down below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one very, very soon.